Hi, Rob Wilson, the Business Man here. I want to take you through how to deliver multiple lead magnets uh, from, from uh, different um, different places and using one list to deliver those different lead magnets followed up by a common sequence of welcome messages that obviously you only see once if you download two, two lead magnets you don't see that, that sequence again. The complexity here really is about delivering multiple lead magnets and only using one list. Um, this is an example of this, this is Amy Porterfield. You'll see every blog post that she has. She has a click option here that takes you off into lead pages where you can put your details in and lead pages has a nice little delivery system to deliver uh, different uh, lead magnets for you. Um, if you're not using lead, lead pages then you have to really devise this yourself. So I'm going to take a look at that and how to do that using Active Campaign and uh, ultimately Thrive Leads. Um, but there are other ways that you could do the name capture. But uh, we need to have a look at the back end of this and how it can be set up uh, sensibly. So let's have a look at the uh, my iPad first. And I'll just show you uh, what we're actually going to create. So my hand-drawn drawing here, you can see we basically have one list. We have a form that's associated with that list that triggers the delivery automation and sends out that the, uh, the lead magnet or freebie. And at the same time, the fact that somebody has subscribed for the first time to that list causes a, a subscribe action to happen, an automation that sends out your welcome emails. So that's kind of how it how it kind of sets itself up. One of the nice things about Active Campaign is the ability to have different forms on on the same list, and those forms can be the trigger. The fact that that form has been completed can be the trigger for a different automation. So that's how we're actually going to achieve it. Let's have a look at the actual steps in Active Campaign itself of how you do that. So here we are in Active Campaign. Let's work our way through uh, setting things up. So I already have a master list I'm going to uh, create things and add things to. So I'm going to, first of all, going to create a couple of forms so we can use those as our uh, starting point for automations. Um, really simple. I'm actually going to really use the forms other than um, as a way of triggering the right things in the API, but they do need to be set up with the right fields. So let's put in uh, delivery lead magnet A. So we'll create one of those. The default should be fine because it has emails compulsory and full name as optional, so that shouldn't cause any problems. So we'll just save that away. Okay, let's uh, just repeat that and create another form. So I'm just going to pause while I do that and go off and create another one exactly the same. The second form you get a different, slightly different layout. Um, so I'm just going to show it to you anyway. So it's just that you end up with another, another option on there. So I'll create another form and then we'll see you in a second. Is our second form. Let's go off and look at automations and just create our dummy automations uh, for this series. So the first thing I need is I need a new automation for delivering for lead magnet A. I would normally give those a little bit bigger uh, titles, but that'll do for now. So how do you get it? Well, you need it to be triggered when somebody submits a form. It's, a, it's form A. I want it to run multiple times. If people request that lead magnet several times, then that's fine. And I'm just going to add a start. So this is our first lead magnet, so I'm just going to add and a contacts, add a tag, and say lead magnet one delivered. So I can, if I want to, I can see that that's happened. Um, I can then send them an email. So let's create an email. And this is the one that you would actually uh, deliver that um, that email, the actual uh, lead, lead magnet. That's where you'd actually uh, deliver it from. So I'm going to pause it and just create one of these. 
So not terribly exciting email, it's going to have an intro, it's going to have a link to your lead magnet and it's going to have a close. I'm using single opt-in uh, so you won't get any uh, extra responses. Um, let's just go next. So there's our settings. Do we want to track that they've linked it? So you can do some clever stuff here. You can also do some uh, tracking uh, Google Analytics to make sure that uh, so you can see the response rates you get. We'll leave those off for the minute. Um, you can tr obviously trigger other things and you can test what you're doing. So that's fine. So we, that should take us back to our automation. So there's a simple automation and that's, that's sufficient. Um, I could then do the same for the other lead magnet and deliver something different and tag them differently. And this could be a series of tags. You could use the uh, system that I use for uh, labeling topics, which allow you to then do some cleverer stuff later. And uh, uh, So you can send out stuff that just is meaningful to that particular client. So uh, that's, the, uh, that's the starting point for that one. The other, the other automation we might want to set up is an automation for a welcome email. So let's go back and create one of those. So this time, so this is an, an email that would welcome uh, welcome you to your brand, to your best content, um, you know, all those kind of things that uh, you want to get people in, you know, indoctrinated into your uh, into your your branding, your business, and how your business works. So in this case, we just want to go for a subscribe. We really only want it to run once, but we're also going to put some extra. A code in there and this one comes from somebody subscribing to the master list so both forms will subscribe to the master list and trigger this the first time so let's put that in here I'm just going to put in a conditional first you'll see in a minute why this works if uh, we need to find contact details tag try again if contact details tag if it exists, um, let's call it um, welcomed. Okay, so if we have a, a tag called stage welcomed, if that person's uh, already labeled with that, then I'm going to uh, end this automation. If they haven't been welcomed, then I'm going to add a tag. So that was stage welcomed, there we are, welcomed. And then I'm going to go off and send them a series of emails. So I could do an email, we won't put the content in this time, because my content was pretty boring. Uh, and if you don't do it, it looks like it doesn't allow you to carry on. So you create an email. Um, so I put one of those in there, but I'm not going to do it. You then may well do a wait for a day and then you'd send another email so that's how you build up that sequence so we've got all the bits in place we have our, our we'd have our another automation which I'm not going to set up for lead magnet uh, 2 or B depending on which numbering system or lettering system you're using um, and we've got our welcome uh, you know, sequence to send out and we've got our two lists uh, so our one list and two forms so let's have a look at a website now and how you might implement that use the Thrive Leads plugin to provide my sign-up boxes. If you haven't looked at Thrive Leads before, then it's certainly well worth a, a look inside. It does all kinds of things from full screen pop-ups, you know, slide into the end in content, uh, pop-ups, ribbons across the top, you name it. Um, but it's certainly worth having a look at thriveleads.com forward slash leads. Sorry, thrivethemes.com forward slash leads. And you can see all the different things that it does, including some very smart testing things. So, so switching over to our um, our demo site, we're in the Thrive Leads uh, settings first. First thing you'll need to do when you f when you first connect up uh, Thrive Leads is to add a connection. So you need to go to API connections, and you'll connect yourself up to your um, to Active Campaign. So you need the uh, API settings that so will give you a URL, and it'll also give you a big long string. Then let's go off into Thrive Leads into the dashboard. The dashboard is organized into groups and each group has a targeting option which uh, determines where it's displayed. So at the moment we have no, no groups, so I'm just going to add one in. 
I'm gonna try again. I run out of imagination, so we'll call it lead group, a new group. Okay, so each group has a set of targeting options which you can set over here, and then it has a series of different things that you can pop up and decide to display. So we're going to just deal with a widget. So I'm going to pick add a new widget. It's going to ask us for to create a form. So this is no connection between the word form here uh, and your active campaign, although we're going to link the two things together. These are different types of forms. So this is obviously your form um, within Thrive Leads. So we will at some point connect it up to the uh, form with an active campaign. So it's a widget, we want it to display immediately that the page is loaded and we need to create a new design for it. So I'm just going to click edit and then we'll pick from the designs. So there's all the designs, let's uh, pick that one for example. It's a WYSIWYG editor so you can kind of play around with things, let's just tidy that up. And you can play around and, and obviously set this up to be the correct uh, text for your uh, lead magnet. The important bit is you click on uh, the actual opt-in box here where you're collecting an email address then connect connect with service create a new connection then you need to pick API and then we need to uh, pick the right settings so it's active campaign we're connecting to we need to pick to the main list again uh, master list is what we're after there's our two lists our two forms active campaign forms so if we want to deliver lead magnet a and, and trigger the automations we pick that one there and you can see how if we've got a different widget going to a different offer we can just change the the form that's being used and that will still put it in the same master list and still trigger that that same welcome that message you can also set up tags at this point too so that's the other way you could do it. This is a new feature that they've just, just recently added. So you could do this without using forms at all and just put tags and trigger things off tags. We're going to leave it uh, as it is for a minute and then uh, save it away. This gives us kind of a, a robust way of connecting up that lead magnet um, and then you can put additional tags if you really want to or you could use those tags to trigger off the automations in the first place. But that uh, gives you a little bit more, as I said, a bit more robust way of doing things. One of the things I love about Thrive uh, themes is the fact that they're now using Active Campaign themselves. Uh, so you're actually finding features are creeping in uh, that they they've uh, found that they want. Um, so then we just go in here and decide we just want to use the email address. So that's the required field. And um, where do you want it, go, it to go to next? And then save it away. And then that widget then can then be inserted into a sidebar, um, and off you go. So hopefully you've worked out that that's how simple that is to deliver different types of lead magnet using uh, the forms options uh, within Active Campaign. So my name is Rob Wilson. I'm the Business Man at businessman.com. B-I-Z-S-Y-S-M-A-N.com. I'll see you in another video.